Hi everyone, this is um, a little tutorial just in case your server gets effed in the A and you need to restore it with a snapshot. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself a hold of PuTTY, which is a program that you can use Telnet with. Um, this will allow you to remote into your server and deploy your snapshot. Um, the second thing you're going to need is the IP address of your server. If you're like me, um, you'll have that inside your uh, TeamSpeak. So what I'm going to do here is copy this, paste it in here. The, the port you're going to use is 111. You're going to click the Telnet little bubble and click Open. Then once you're in here, you're going to use these commands. You're going to use login, server admin, and then the password for your server. So I'm just going to drag my window to the side here and log in. Okay, I am logged in. And then the next thing you are going to do is use this, the use SID1, which will allow you to uh, use the server admin which says message OK. And then this next part is server snapshot deploy. And then you're going to put a space and then you're going to use your snapshot which you created. And so you're going to highlight this whole thing which you want to highlight all the way to the end. Hold on, let me just shrink this window down. All the way to the end here. And then you're going to copy that, and then you're going to just right click, by the way, not control V, and that pastes it, and then you're going to hit enter, though I'm not going to do that because I have already done this. So I'm just going to close out my window. And that will give you your snapshot. Once you do that, it will automatically restart your server and, and re-log you back in, and once has done that you'll notice that um, your server ID will have changed on the server here let me scroll down to me you'll notice on your server let me just scroll over here see how my server ID my database ID is now 722 before it was 6 so it has put me after the the, the newest ID on the server so that is messed up because before in my server groups I was in the uh, server query group and now it's not even showing me in there I have already fixed that but I will show you what you'll have to do in order to get yourself back into the server query group what you're gonna have to do is now go into the server query and then you're gonna have to let's open this back up do server query group client list you're going to want to make sure you type in your server admin user over here and your server password. And then you're going to run this. And it's going to give you all the users right here with their ID numbers that are still in that group. And then what you're going to want to do is go back and you're going to want to delete all the users out of there except the number one user. You do not want to delete that user out of that group. And so this is my user ID right here. And so you're going to want to delete all these users out of here. So delete, let's say, user 6 and user 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever users are in there. And then you're going to want to add them at back afterwards. So you'll remove Dell and put add there and, and then add 722. Just add that right now. So it looks like it went OK. Let's go back to permissions, server groups, and bam, look. I'm in the server query admin group. And so we'll just to prove that I can remove myself. Let's go back to Dell. And back to the permissions. And I'm no longer in it. So that, that will fix you all up. Make sure you get all those unknown users out of there, just in case they added themselves in there. And you should be all set after that. Thanks a lot.